Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a subdomain. I'm using host, one of my HostGator accounts, one of my many HostGator accounts, and I have also HostMonster, many of those, and I mean, I have several hosting accounts through several companies. Uh, have to keep track of things at times, and the good way to do that is through using Word, Microsoft Word, or whatever else that you may have that's equivalent to that, uh, like OpenOffice or whatever. But make sure you, you stay organized, because the more organized you are, the better off you will be in the long run. Okay, so here is what we're going to do here is I'm going to go down to uh, subdomains. You click on subdomain in your account, it's right here. Look under domains, subdomain. Okay, so I'm going to select a subdomain. I, I just I don't have that many on here in this one, like uh, today yours, you know, I can do it like this and I can turn around and say. Uh, Let's go like uh, H U L U, okay, Hulu, because I'm gonna run an offer on that. So I do this here, right here. Make sure it's right there. You see public underscore HTML forward slash Hulu, okay, and that's yours. So you create your account. Just click one button, and voila, voila. Today yours dot com has been created. It's done just that fast. I go back and if you look down here Hulu today yours is right there it's not redirected however when you assign a particular uh, search term to it or I should say a URL the string uh, where you're linking directly to your particular offer I'll click on manage redirection and Hulu redirects to okay this way and right there and I'm going to say save okay and that's it so if I type in Hulu come over here let me open up another tab and I go here and paste it in bingo just like that there it is do you use Hulu yes no Fill out a couple things over here, claim your gift card, you know, and, and that's it. Well, you know, they go through the whole thing, and I'm sure someone has email or, or um, yeah, email at one point or another, or zip code, and there you go. And you get people, people love, I mean, and let me tell you this, they just love filling in surveys and, and things that are going to, it's going to get them there. And if they fill this out, apparently, if they complete this, they get to claim a $25 iTunes gift card. That $25 is reasonable. If it's at a $1,000 gift card, people can say, click, I'm gone. And that's what's going to usually happen. But under this circumstance, uh, no, they won't. They'll keep it because $25 is reasonable. You can even easily understand how somebody's going to, you know, give you $25 for participating into a survey. And it's easy to push people into that direction where they will do so. And that concludes our tutorial.